I came in as a mature student, so I have been working in the financial industry before coming, doing the masters here for more than a decade. And during my time in the industry, you know, a few questions started to accumulate, um, especially after 2008 and the global financial crisis um, that caught me within the industry. So I started asking myself more and more questions. Um, initially, I didn't think I would want to do a master's in economics or, you know, switch towards academia. Um, so I did what looked like a low risk, uh, you know, thing, which is to go for the part time. I kept my job. So I went for the part time masters in economics and then with because of the evening classes, it was really a natural choice. Um, so I think really that's what tilted towards Birkbeck. However, I got the surprise that the quality of the uh, of the modules was really, really of high standards. And that got me, you know, rolling and asking more and more questions. So by the end of my master's, my part-time master's, that took two years, I decided to stay on for a PhD and to stop uh, or suspend my career in the, in the industry and do the PhD full-time. I mean, obviously, Berbeck was a natural choice because I wanted to keep my job. Uh, then when I came in, obviously, I started discovering all the modules. And I really thought that the teaching and the level of the modules was very, very, very high and really if you're a curious person, you'll be satisfied. Um, I mean, the proof that I end up doing a PhD after the, after the master's. So, so I really enjoyed it. It was not easy, uh, so it requires some work because this is, you know, proper uh, research master's if you want. So it really is of a good enough standards to direct somebody to research or to give them really a very good basis if they want to go back to the industry or do various things uh, with it later on. What I'm doing right now is very different from what I was doing before. So that transition happened thanks to the PhD. So right now I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the National Institute of Economic and Social Research. So I do research kind of not full time, but almost full time. And I do a bunch of other things on the side as well. And mainly focusing on policy and economic research. Um, so it's, it's, it's very different and it would not have, it could not have been possible if it wasn't for bareback and this transition, this smooth transition towards this new kind of um, area of work.